You ain't got no immune system no more. You ain't got nothing to fight with. So after hearing all these horrific examples, I think I'll trust in God. What do you think? Yes, sir. Amen. I think I'll trust in God. Because that way is the way of death. And then your preacher would tell you, go to the doctor, take your medicines. Go to the doctor, take your medicine. Thou has no healing medicines. Jeremiah 30, 13. Is that right? Now what you going to do? Your, my preacher told me to take my medicine. Go ahead on. Keep doing it. Thank y'all. You know what our problem is today? We live in a time, just like in the days of Jesus, to where the spirit of this world is not built any longer to sustain truth. It's not going to put up with truth no more. Look how vindictive and reprehensible and angry that people are getting just because you tell the truth. People don't sit up and, and have a Holy Ghost dance and shout and rejoice and go, whoa, praise God, we heard you. Man, they, they look at you with a, with a foul look on your face as if you were the enemy yourself. They get mad at you for telling the truth. See, we're living in a time people are not going to sustain. They're not going to put up. With truth anymore. It was as way as it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. People hate truth, but they love tradition. They love their theology. They hate the truth, though. If you know the truth, Jesus said, You shall know the truth. And what does truth do when it comes? It sets you free. Truth does. It makes you free. Yes, it does too. And he who the son set free is free indeed. So apparently you people don't know truth like you think you do. Isn't that remarkable? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I rejoice in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, I do. I lift up the name of Jesus and the way of God. Oh, yes, I do. I'm excited about his way and I talk and I don't mix my words because I know in whom I believe in. Glory be to the king. Ain't nothing wrong with a clean way. I had somebody tell me, you sure are bold. I said, you got that right. Tell me why. Tell me why. Couldn't answer. I said, it's because I'm righteous. Because if I wasn't righteous, I wouldn't be bold. Then, would I? Now, I could be bold in pride and be a fool. Could I not? But everything I'm talking about is the deliverance of our Lord God. Our God, our King, our Jesus. It's the way of God. I'll be the first to tell you that no, don't want not one person here to have any healing in one fiber of their bone. We can't heal nobody. But we know who is the healer. And he said the works that I do shall ye do. And greater works than he shall ye do. And then they want to sit and judge us wrong as if because we trust in Jesus. Are oh, you caught? Then what the hell are you then? I know what a cult is. Any religious organization, and boy, some of you cults out there are a whole lot bigger than ours. <laughs> whole lot bigger than ours, boy. See, to this world, anything, you know what a cult is? Anything that don't walk after the same form, tune, fashion that this world does. Now, we prove that we're of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Come here, Sister Vicky. I had people say, boy, them things you wear, they show are nice. Hmm? Hmm? Made by Vicky. See that? See, I just busted some of you people because you thought a black woman made it. 
just tore up some of your theology, didn't it? Huh? Just smacked you right between your eyes. A woman of God made it. Amen. Gonna make some more too. I told Carol, I said, man, my message is getting pretty repeat, repetitive, but same old. I mean, by the time I wear the blue and the black one, then the green one and the black one, then, then this one right here, nobody, man, I said, man, people may think, they'll look 10 years down the road and say, he's still wearing the same old stuff. <laughs> How long have I had this, Vicky? Uh, quite a few years. Quite a few years. I, that's one thing about Vicky. I can't get an answer out of her. <laughs> but anyway, it's made out of good material. It lasts for a long time. Amen. Thank you, Sister Vicky. Amen. Huh? Praise God. So no, I'm not going to repent for this way. I never repent for this way. Never will. Not when people are healed from that, delivered from their fears. He delivered me from all of my fears. Amen. I'm not going to repent for this way. I never will. No, I won't either. Not from coming this way, I won't. We don't have no homosexuals in this place. One may come this way, but you ain't staying that way. And you faggots think you're going to come here and stay that way and try to run this place. I'll run you. Look at him. Boy, I tell you. We, we something. You know, something wrong with us when we start agreeing with wickedness and sin. When we start becoming, when our hearts start going out and feeling sorry for them. When we should have a heart for God. You ignorant, stupid people out there. God destroyed a whole entire city and his providence because of that wicked behavior. God didn't make no Adam and Steve. What you think God going to do to this wicked country then? Huh? That's why California is being burned and the East Coast is being flooded. And you mark these words. United States of America is going to be split right down the middle, divided. Amen. As it was in days of Peleg, when all this earth was divided, it's going to happen again. The thing that was, it shall be again. Can't help it, because the earth is groaning, moaning, and travailing. Look how much oil they pumping out of, and every time you turn around, volcanoes, tremors, tsunamis, Earthquake. What do you think is all? The earth is trying to talk to us. You wicked men. Praise God. But we were just wanted to put, hey, make you all happy this morning. We are here on the Sabbath day. Not sun day. We're here on the Sabbath day. The Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The seventh day of the week. We're not God, so we don't pick days. We obey the creator of the universe. And you know, you know that's another reason why we're here too, because we obey. You know, we, we're not rebellious children. We're obedient children. Isn't that all right? Amen.